Let me tell you today about the manufacturing industries of India and what importance they hold in our geographical as well as economic structure of the country. As a student, you use a lot of paper, right? But do you wonder what this paper is made up of? Now let me tell you, paper is made of wood. Now essentially wood is a raw material that is used to manufacture paper after undergoing a lot of processes. So you see, every finished good that we use today is manufactured from a raw material. For example, sugar comes from sugarcane, iron and steel comes from iron ore, and aluminium comes from bauxite. And this production of goods in a large quantity after processing from raw materials to more valuable products is called manufacturing. And this production process takes in the manufacturing industries. Manufacturing has another aspect too, where sometimes industrial products itself are used to produce a finished product. For example, sometimes of clothes are manufactured from yarn, which itself is an industrial product. Now this process where a finished good is made from raw materials is basically what a manufacturing process is. And generally, people who are employed in the secondary activities are engaged in this process. This usually includes the workers employed in steel factories, car factories, breweries, textile industries, bakeries, etc. Moreover, manufacturing industries also fall under the secondary sector. Now, these industries are very important to improve the economic standing of any country because it is the measure of how these industries develop and what they produce that determine the economic strength of a country. In fact, the manufacturing sector is considered the backbone of a country's development in general and the economic development in particular. And why is that? Well, there are a few reasons and let me explain the first one. Manufacturing industries not only help in modernizing agriculture, which forms the backbone of our economy, they also reduce the heavy dependence of people on agricultural income by providing them jobs in the secondary and tertiary sectors. Secondly, industrial development is necessary if we want to eradicate unemployment and poverty from our country. This is the main philosophy behind public sector industries and joint sector ventures in India. It was also aimed at bringing down regional differences by establishing industries in tribal and backward areas. Export of manufactured goods expands trade and commerce and brings in the much needed foreign exchange. It is seen that countries which transform their raw material into a wide variety of furnished goods have a higher value and are more prosperous. This also means India's prosperity lies in increasing and diversifying its manufacturing industries as quickly as possible. And if these industries are developed enough, then our dependence on other countries for the supply of essential goods will be significantly reduced. But in the present day world of globalization, our industry needs to be more efficient and competitive because self-sufficiency alone is not enough. Our manufactured goods must be of the same quality as compared to those in the international market. Only then can we compete in the international market, which will contribute tremendously towards India's economy. Let us see how agriculture, which is the backbone of India's economy, contributes to industries and how industry helps agriculture to grow and contribute to our ever-growing economy. Let us discuss how industries contribute to the national economy of India. Tutomate. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on Apple App Store or Google Play Store.